In my opinion, music and sound design are two of the most important elements for creating the most professional video work. Between finding the right track to complement the footage that you've shot and adding layers of sound effects and sound design to really amplify that video, all of this can be achieved right inside of Premiere Pro. Let me show you how to do it. So we're here inside Premiere Pro and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is head over to the workspaces and audio tab. This will allow you to edit your audio in the most efficient way possible. So if we go over here to our bin, we have all of our audio laid out in sound effects, music, and voiceover. You can already see that I have a lot of different audio tracks going on down here, and we're gonna quickly break down how to add and edit those clips appropriately. So let's say I have all of these clips here that I wanna add some really captivating music to. In the past, I used to have to go and source all this music from other third-party sites, but Premiere Pro makes it so easy to find the music you're looking for inside of the app. Let's head over to the essential sound window and go to browse, and up here you have all of this music that's already laid in for you. Premiere has actually partnered with all these different audio partners from Keyframe Audio to Epidemic Sound. Now you can actually sort these by the mood you're going for. So let's say we're going for epic, inspiring, and then you can go by genre. So we're just gonna go here. And then if we just toggle down here and play a few of them. we can see that we have a lot of different options to choose from. This timeline sync button allows Premiere to see where the best parts of that track are. This gives you a better idea of whether the track will fit the footage that you've already assembled. If you are an Artlist user, Premiere has now allowed you to add an extension called an Artlist library, which I like to keep up here on the top. And I can actually add this right to my window and do the same exact thing as I would over here in the essential sound panel and then browse the music I'm looking for. We can actually toggle timeline sync on and press play. And we can see how that's actually working in our timeline. Simply download to the bin. Inside of our bin here, we now have that track right here inside of Premiere Pro, and we never had to leave this interface, which again, saves us so much time having to go back and forth between different browsers. Everything is right here inside of Premiere Pro. Now I've already sourced a track from this Artlist extension, and all I'm gonna do is drag and drop it here into my timeline. But I wanna make sure that the music track is timed perfectly to the footage that I've already laid out here. So we can see I'm at about 37 seconds, and this clip is clearly much longer than that, almost three minutes long. Back in the day, it would've taken me a lot longer to go through this track, find the points I liked, and then cut those manually. But now there is a much simpler and easier way to trim this track to the exact desired time we want. Next to the effects panel, there's a little audio button. We're gonna click that, and then you can actually tag your clips in the essential sound panel to decide what it is. And in this case, I wanna tag this as music. And under music, you'll see the duration button. And we're gonna just toggle this on right here. And this is essentially analyzing the clip for the length of time we have right now. But I want that target duration to actually time specifically to my video. So I'm gonna go in here and set that to 38 seconds and it did it so fast. And now we've timed this exact clip to our video and we didn't have to go in there and manually cut anything up. So you can see that these lines have been created for us inside of Premiere Pro. And this is Premiere doing some wizardry for us on the back end so that we don't have to actually put all that work in to manually cut this clip up. Over here on the toolbar, toggle down to the remix tool and this will do the exact same thing. And we can actually just drag this out to whatever the desired length is. I always try to stay organized when I'm adding different elements into my timeline because it can get cumbersome the more sound effects that you add in your video. So the first thing I like to do is name my audio track. So this is probably the small window that you're looking at. Shift plus or control plus on a PC will expand this. And I'm gonna go in here and right click my audio one and I'm just gonna name this music. And then all of the tracks below this is where I am going to add different layers of sound effects. So option or control plus expands only the audio timeline so that I can actually come in here and better edit my music. Now, if we zoom in to the end of our music track here and we wanna fade this out, Premiere now has these handles that we can actually simply pull this cross dissolve in as far as we want. If we don't wanna use that handle, all we have to do is press P on our keyboard, which will bring the pen tool up and we can just come in here and we can create our own points. Let's say we wanna fade this out here. We can just come in here and drag this down 
Maybe we want a more gradual fade out and this will do that for us. So you can add as many points as you want to your music track and just manually come in here and create the points that we're looking for. Now let's add some of those sound effects that you heard in the first video to really build those transitions. We have a little speed ramp going on between these two clips. So I wanna add a little bit of a whoosh sound or some sort of transitional sound to take us through that transition. And I have a whole sound effects library in here that has very specific sounds that I'm looking for. And I like something like this short sound effect that I have right here. I'm gonna create an in point and an out point. And just like you would any other clip in Premiere Pro, we are now gonna drag this underneath our music track and just start to layer some of those sound effects in. So the benefit of being in the audio tab is I can actually see the waveforms a little bit more clearly. So I know that that sound is going to be perfect right on the cut. So let's play that back. We have this shot of the waterfall and then the lava. Because this was shot on a drone, we didn't actually record audio. So let's add two little sound effects that can make the viewer feel like they're actually there. And these are sounds that I have sourced over the years to create videos like this one. So here we have a large waterfall. I'm gonna set an in and out point and I'm gonna drag this on to our timeline. And what I like here is that we have a wide shot of the waterfall and then a tight shot. We drag this clip, it's the same sound, but ideally we'd be hearing it differently from afar than we would close up. I'm gonna create a point right here using the pen tool. So here's one point and here's two. And I'm gonna actually drag this first part down so it sounds like it's distant and far away. And then I'm just gonna drag this clip out and I'm gonna use those cross dissolve handles to fade this into our next clip. Don't always think that the sound that you're going to source is going to be exactly what you see. For example, these two shots of the Northern Lights. And if we mute the music track, we can hear a couple different sound effects going on in the background and there's really no sound that the Northern Lights makes. So it is really a creative decision to decide what sort of sound effects to add, what music to add, and what sounds the best to you. Okay, so we have a pretty robust timeline going on, but I wanna make sure that everything sounds mixed and we can adjust those levels here in the audio clip mixer. The audio track mixer is a great way to mix individual tracks. And let's say we wanna just globally adjust the volume and bring that down a little bit. We can do that right here in that mixer window. We're just gonna drag this down to let's say maybe five. That way the music isn't overpowering all the other sound effects behind us. And we don't have to manually go through each one of these clips and take that audio down. You can do that right here in the window. There are also effects that you can add. You can come up here and you can actually amplify that clip if you want it to be a little bit louder. You have all these other effects that you can come in here and add. And the benefit of doing it this way is it will actually affect the entire track and not just one individual clip. Layering these clips and naming them will help you when you get to this stage of the process of mixing. And then on the right hand side, you have the master mix. So let's say we wanted to take the volume down on everything that we've just created. All we're gonna do is drag this and drop this down. And that will allow you to adjust the mix globally instead of clip by clip. Now, don't be afraid to layer and stack sound effects and music on top of each other. This is a way to have the most robust sounding video. And it is great practice to learn how to use the cross dissolve handles, the pen tool for creating different volume points on that track, and just having fun with the process of editing audio. I cannot wait to see what you create.